Okay, so this is not going to be a complete tumbler tutorial. I have two glitters here under the sea from It's Pretty Personal and Denim Blues also from It's Pretty Personal. I have some paint. If I can get this one open. Um, you can use acrylic paint. This is just what I have on hand and lots of. So I don't normally buy acrylic paints. But this is kind of a darker than either of these, but it's going to be fine. Um, I'm trying to understand why this is spiraling all over TikTok all of a sudden. Um, for your base paint, for your glitter. Um, it's how I always do my Mod Podge with my glitter. So to me, it's not new. But apparently to a lot of people... This is like a brand new concept. You've seen me do this before, many times. I pour in my Mod Podge, and I'm going to use a 20 ounce thick. So I'm going to need quite a bit, actually. Probably not that much, but if I need a second coat, it'll give me a good start. Uh, this is just the gloss Mod Podge. Use whichever you have. Um, sometimes I use the hard coat. And I need a stick for my paint. But I'm just going to take some paint and mix it in. This will give you a good base color. Um, the Mod Podge is obviously going to change the color of the paint. Actually, I'm going to break this stick in half so I can get some more paint. Um, so you would have to play with your colors, your ratios to get what you want. Um, I did start with a darker paint, like I said. And now it's going to be lighter. But, and it doesn't match either of these colors exactly. It's fine. So I'm going to set that aside. I will cover that up in a minute. So now I have this. I have my two glitters. I have a mixed cup of glitter. I mix this 50-50. And I have my little strainer. So... Um, I'm going to grab my cup. Like I said, I'm using a 20 ounce thick. I've got a relatively soft brush. And I'm just going to paint it on. I've got this glitter ready. I've got these ready. I've got a bunch of papers ready. No room to slide them. I'm going to scoot that again. Okay. So I'm going to do the denim blues on the bottom. I'm going to do about the bottom third. You can do this on your turner if you want. It probably would have been easier because I'm going to need a third hand for the mixed color. So when you use Mod Podge, you need to really, really, really let it dry before you go into resin. So I'm actually going to set this aside. I'm going to let it sit all night long. And then I will come in with my resin and maybe by then 
I will have decided what I'm doing with this. But, like I said, for whatever reason, this is sweeping TikTok right now. Using the Mod Podge and the paint for your base color. You can see how it works going over stainless. So, that is it. And, um, I'm going to go ahead and make finishing this. No, I'm going to wait. I'm going to do this as one video. So, I'll be back. Okay, so I decided on this one that I'm going to use some of these um, Dollar Tree decals. I don't know if you remember these from that haul a while back, but this one's a glass sticker, this one's a glass sticker, and this one is a rub-on transfer. Um, I may stick to just the black ones in here. I'm not sure that the purple or the teal will show up, but like the teal might show up on the blue. So we might play with that, but I'm going to work around these and see what we get just because I haven't used any of these ones in a while um, hopefully they'll restock some of these things as they head into their summer stock but I'm not going to put any text decal on this just just these I think so I'm going to get them all opened up and I think in this one, I am only going to use the anchor. Um, I might cut one of the wheels apart, but I don't like this trio thing. So, but I think these will look cute on here. Especially like layered over, maybe, a rub-on. So, that's where I'm at with this one. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut out one of the blue ones just so I can see it. Um, I might cut out a purple one as well. I just want to see how they'll look before I stick anything down. So I'm going to trim these apart. You don't normally have to cut very close with rub-ons, so hopefully that holds true in this case. But, um, see the black will show up on any of the colors. Oh, and I guess uh, they're super sticky, so I'm going to have to line that up there or try and get that one removed. <laughs> Super sticky rub-on transfers. I'll make sure I don't actually touch the other one down. And somewhere I lost a piece of it. I don't know where. But. Whatever. So I think the purple will actually show up on here. So I'm going to layer the purple over where I screwed up that previous one. Normally you burnish these down with a popsicle stick or a, a special tool for rub-on transfers, like a rolly ball thing. I have one somewhere. I couldn't tell you where though. I'm going to go ahead and put this white sticker on next because this is going to take up the most real estate and I kind of want to work around it because I'm going to put this kind of dead center 
I wish I had the other cup I used these stickers on. Because remember, they did end up looking more clear under the resin. So. I do want to make sure are stuck down really well. I'm actually going to use my brayer because I really don't want them to lift under the resin. I had a tiny little bit of lifting on the other one I used these stickers for, but it was nothing, um, nothing overly traumatic in the end. So I will be back on the turner when I have some resin mixed up in a little bit. Okay, I am ready to get the epoxy on this. Uh, sorry, my machine's a little loud behind me. But I'm just going to get a coat on here. This is KS Resin Liquidy Split. I mixed up about 25 mLs because this is a bigger cup. So I'm just going to get it on and smooth it out. over there cutting a the template. It should be just about done. There we go. Finished. So I'm just going to smooth this on and then this one's done essentially. I'm not having any lifting of my stickers so far, so that's good. Just trying to smooth it out so it doesn't get any bubbles or wrinkles or I do have a heater blowing in here but it's not blowing at the cup so that is good So, that is it for this one. I'm going to bring it up so you can see some of these decals. There's that center section. I love how the glitter shows through every bit of it. And there's that anchor with the roses. And, can I get it tilted far enough? Yep. There's the cute bottom, just because I like to put a little something on the bottoms. So, well, that is it for this one. Thank you for watching.